So the question is, has the ranked choice voting system made it smart to avoid taking specific policy positions in a crowd and narrow field? Uh, was this a fair uh, criticism? And is ranked choice uh, voting a good way to elect a mayor in San Francisco? Let me talk a little bit about uh, ranked choice voting and how I think it has really changed the way in which we are all campaigning. In ranked choice voting, it's not about your number two votes. It's your number uh, number one vote. It's your number twos and your number threes. And what that has done, and I'm sure it is uh, the case for all of us here, is that no longer can you go out into the city and just identify where your base is and just try to then make sure that that base, that base that you have, is going to continue to be out there and support you. What Ranked Choice is doing is forcing all of us to think about what are the other communities that we ought to be going out to to try and capture number two and number three votes. And that is the essence of Ranked Choice. What it does do is to force all the candidates to go beyond our comfort zone outside of our communities and reach to all individuals. And that, I think, is extremely important. Whoever's going to be the mayor, it's got to represent everybody. Not just your comfort zone, not just your community, not just your friends and your buddies and your classmates, but everyone. And to that extent, Ranked Choice has done a tremendous public service for the city and county of San Francisco. And I hope that we all take advantage of that. I would agree with Dennis that I think that the Chronicle's suggestion that this race has not got that in, has not yet been that interesting has been a function of the fact that one, it is early, uh, but two, with this new system, fortunately, I think campaigning has been much more positive than it has been in recent years. Uh, and I think, from my perspective, that is a good thing because one of the real challenges at City Hall is that over the past decade we have had some very, very negative politics. We've had boards of supervisors and mayors who have just fought constantly. And from my perspective, I think it is a good turn for the better when we have an opportunity to talk about leadership that can actually bring folks together, that can actually build, that can bring our diverse communities together. What's amazing about this campaign is we get to go all over the city in rooms like this and see thousands of families, to see thousands of San Franciscans who are all experiencing similar things but in different communities. And part of what we want to do with my campaign is again to reach out and bring everyone from all pockets of the city who are dealing with the same issues of the economy, of schools, of families, to bring all this together so that we can move our city forward.